elevate your ebooks from boring to brilliant. Join us today as we discover the world of designer, where creativity meets convenience. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're about leveling up your content game, then you're gonna love Designer. Now I did a video on Designer about four years ago. I've included a link to the card up above, but Designer has made significant improvements since I started using it about five years ago. Some of the things that have really impressed me about Designer are the many, many, many templates that you can use to create an ebook. When I first started using Designer, you could take uh, individual blog posts and create an ebook from all of your blog posts. So if you had, let's say, you know, 100 blog posts and you took 30 of them, you could create an ebook from those blog posts. But what I'm going to show you today is how to use the new AI that uh, Designer has added, Word Genie. So this has really revolutionized the way that content creation is done. Hey, before I get started with the video here, I just want to thank everybody for their support. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know, are notified every time I put out a new video, and make sure that you leave a comment. When you leave comments, you like, and you uh, share the video, that helps with the YouTube al algorithm and helps to grow my channel. Now, gone are the days of copying and pasting PDFs and Word docs and blog posts and URL links into Designer. Now you can still do all these things, but they've made it so much easier. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over inside my computer and I'm gonna show you how Word Genie works in creating a book in five minutes. Uh, I just recently created a book on bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. That's a mouthful. And I know absolutely nothing about bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. So it was, it was very interesting, the results I got. So let's go over inside my computer and check it out. So before we go inside my um, designer account, I want to show you a book that I created about five years ago for one of my clients. It's called Unleash the Priestess, Breaking Through Your Limiting Beliefs by Nicole Doherty. Um, and the book is about uh, empowering women and overcoming limiting beliefs um, and growing as a woman. And uh, Nicole has a awesome blog. And what she did was she took all of her blog posts, well, I shouldn't say all, but she took a number of her blog posts and we used them to create this wonderful book um, that uh, I designed about five years ago. And you can see, you know, it did a, did a fantastic job and with uh, editing and adding pictures and images, we really created uh, a nice book. So this uh, took me quite a bit of time uh, because I had to upload the individual blog post, but you can see that it's just one other way that you can use Designer. Now what I want to do is take you inside my computer and show you how uh, the uh, Word Genie works in creating books. Okay, everybody, so here we are inside my Designer dashboard. And um, just a quick review. Um, you can look at your uh, recent projects. I have a number of them here. Here's that book I was talking about on bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Uh, I recently wrote a book on uh, sublingual, uh, the sublingual solution, which deals with sublingual allergy shots. Uh, this book is on embracing the meaning of, of life and death, uh, deals with hospice care. This was a fun book to make. It's uh, called Keto Cocktail Hour. It's for uh, busy moms uh, for how to make uh, low-carb uh, drinks that they can enjoy. So what I want to focus here on is uh, the Word Genie portion of it. But uh, real quick, you can see here that you can import from blog post, import from a Word document, import from a Google Doc, or start from a blank template. We're going to actually use the Word Genie aspect. So we're going to click on the button here for Word Genie. Okay, so here we are inside of Word Genie. Word Genie is an uh, artificial intelligence 
that has been combined with Designer to help you create ebooks. We're going to hit get started and I'm going to ask you to write a book on how to build a car engine. I know nothing about how to build a car engine, so this should be interesting. Click on next. Uh, add a theme to your project. I'm not going to add a theme at this point. All right, so the next thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me if I want to choose one of these sub niches or stay with the niche. How to build a car engine, how to build a high performance car engine. Ooh, that, that'd be interesting. Classic car engine, race car engine, diesel engine, electric car engine. Let's do the electric car engine because that's uh, kind of a uh, prevalent topic in today's age. Click on that. Audience of the book is going to be new electric car builders. We'll hit next. All right, so the next thing it's going to do is it's going to come up with some suggested titles from our ebook. So let's take a look at some of these. Electrify Your Ride, A Beginner's Guide to Building Electric Car Engine, From Scratch to Speed, The Ultimate Guide to Building Your Electric Car Engine, The Electric Engine Blueprint, A Step-by-Step -step Guide for New Electric Car Builders, Powering the Future, How to Build an Efficient Electric Car Engine, Electromechanics 101, a comprehensive guide for new... So, I mean, it gives us quite a few here. I'm not going to read all of them. I'm going to pick this one here, the Electric Engine Blueprint, a step-by-step -step guide for new electric car builders. I'm going to hit Next. Okay, so the first thing that it does is it builds out a um, an outline, uh, basically the chapters for the car. And you can see here it's got introduction to electric car engines and then the, the subparts understand the basics of electric car engines, benefits of building an electric car. You get the, the picture. Getting started with electric car engine construction, understanding electric car components, a step-by-step -step assembly guide for electric car engines, testing and troubleshooting electric car engines. Uh, it's pretty comprehensive. Enhancing your car's electric cars, engine efficiency. So you can see it gave me a pretty uh, detailed um, outline for uh, the individual chapters. And I'm going to hit next. And what's going to happen is I'm going to um, wait for it to... So right now it is going through and it is generating... Um, the individual chapters for the book and you can see it's doing it pretty fast so we're going to come back in a little bit here once this book is done and i will show you what the final product looks like so while we wait for designer and word genie to do its magic what i want to do is i'm going to go over to chat gpt and test out a new feature that i'm going to do uh, an entire video on i'm going to ask it uh, with its integration with Dali E3 to create a book cover for me that I can use for my book. So let me minimize myself here that we are ready to go. And I'm going to ask it, please create an image to use on, as a book cover on how to build an electric car engine for beginners. And let's see what we get. Okay, so not exactly what I wanted. Um, I just wanted the image. I didn't want the book cover. But you can see that uh, ChatGPT and its new integration is pretty detailed. I'm going to ask it to, no, I just want the image, not a mock-up. Let's see what happens here. I'm still playing around with uh, this new uh, addition to ChatGPT4, so... Um, we'll see what we get here. That's working, creating another image. 
Hopefully it gives me that image because that one was actually pretty good. All right, I'm I'm actually going to use that. It's a uh, it's like a blueprint, uh, you know, internal mock-up of an electric engine. So we're going to save that, and we're going to use that as our book cover. Now you'll notice it's. Uh, I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. You'll notice that it is. Um, it's a, a one to one ratio. Uh, I think if I would have been more specific, it would have d done it in like a uh, 11 by 14 or a uh, um, 16 by 19, something a little bit easier to use. So let's go back over and see if design are back inside a designer and it looks like uh, word genie has finished its book. Um, it is right now it's in a, uh, a draft version. And you can uh, save the draft, which I will do. And one thing that's important to do, what, what I always like to do before I put anything inside of a book, is I cut and paste this entire thing into Grammarly and check it for, um, for writing. You also want to go through and read um, and make sure there's a, uh, you know, no false information in there, no fake information. Uh, we don't want to put out bad information, but I'm not going to be publishing this book. This is more just a demonstration. So we're going to go to choose a template. And now it's going to take me to the template page. And I'm going to try to find a template that kind of fits... Uh, the feel of what I am creating here. Let me just take a look through here. We've got, as you can see, many, many different types of templates. Just a plain white template. So we can find something that fits. I'm not finding anything that really jumps off the page. I'm just going to use this one for now. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the entire book and it's going to import it into this template. And this will be the starting point for uh, creating our book. Now it's still loading here. And there you have it. It added it to the template. I'm not going to go through and go through all the editing. Uh, I'll do another video on, on how to edit a book in Designer. But you can see it's added to the, the, in the, uh, the header, the electric engine blueprint, a step-by-step -step guide for new electric car builders. And it's got footers in here, too. You could change this and make this uh, maybe your website, uh, a link to your website. But one of the things I'm going to do real quick while we're here is while we were waiting, I did a little Canva magic and I changed the format of the, um, of the image itself that I want to use. So I'm going to go up here to just click in this top left corner and we go over to image. And it's going to pull up my images over here. And I'm going to move myself out of the way. And here, button upload our image. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload our image that through the magic of um, Canva, I have improved so that it's a little bit bigger. Here we go. I'm going to upload the photo. We'll pause the video and we'll come back to this when it's done. Okay, it's done uploading. So now what we're going to do is just double click on the image. And it has now replaced the background that we originally had on there. That came out really good. So, and you know, you would go through and edit things like the, you know, the the title. Um, you know, maybe you want to put that down here. You know, uh, change the color so that it's a little bit uh, more readable. But that came out really good. I like that. So, through the power of uh, ChatGPT, I was able to create a, an awesome image. And with Word Genie, I was able to create a book. Um, you know, this is a fantastic tool. So if you're a content creator and uh, you write eBooks or you have a blog post and you want to share it in the form of, a, of uh, an eBook, 
this is the way to go about doing it. And there you have it, folks. We've created an ebook in a little less than 20 minutes. Designer is a powerful tool, but make sure that when you're writing your books that you proofread them. Make sure that the information is accurate. AI is still a developing technology. You want to make sure that you're putting out good quality information. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this today and got value out of it. If you like what you see today, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we put out a new video. And don't forget to check out our weekly newscast, Philosophy AI News Trends. Take care and see you in the next video.